Alright, uh, I'm going to make a quick video for those of yourselves like me who uh, like do-it-yourself projects. Um, how to attach an airline to your corny keg. And a lot of people have been saying that you got to take this uh, deal here off and uh, drill inside there and tap it out uh, so it'll fit a uh, quarter inch air fitting but uh, I found that uh, you can basically just take a uh, 5 8 inch hose like I've got here let me go to the other side so you can see it a little bit better and just shove it right on the top you know cut it so that you've got about an inch and a half of uh, hose left but you can look inside there it's a real tight fit already and then you put a hose clamp on it like that and you're good to go here's the uh, air filter going down to the the pump here and uh, this is a it's not a diaphragm pump it's an actual Teflon piston pump in there and it's right off the shaft of a uh, four horse Honda here's the uh, relief valve if the pressure gets too high it just off gases and here's the output an airline the fitting they use is the same as uh, your garden hose here so what I've done is I've got a, a brass uh, female garden hose end. I cut it off of a garden hose and uh, I left a little bit of rubber on there. I should have left more on this side, but when I cut it off I wasn't thinking about using it for this purpose. So a little bit of rubber is on there and then I've got a, uh, a clamp going around there clamping to the existing uh, bolt that is on the uh, corny keg. So it goes into the corny keg and then it comes out on the other side here. And here I actually left more rubber on there so I've got a be better seal. That comes up to a uh, another female. That there's a male end that comes out and then the female connects to the, uh, the male end there. And then that's got a quarter inch ribbed compression fitting going into some of the uh, yellow air hose, 300 psi breathing hose, up to another quarter inch um, rib pressure fitting and then uh, that's threaded into this T here and the T has got the quick connect for the uh, airline. So I've got 30 feet of air hose here goes out to the reg and uh, this reg is a standard uh, scuba reg and so it's actually kind of hard to breathe in because this compressor puts out about 50 psi um, and the reg is usually meant to work off of I don't know I think it's like uh, 120 to 180 or something anyways in order to get this to work off of 50 psi I had to open it up and inside here there's a spring and uh, that spring has got a certain tension on it and when I breathe in it compresses the diaphragm which pulls on this lever, which pulls on the spring, which opens the valve right in here to let the air in. So what I had to do to make it work with a lower pressure hookah system is I had to actually shave the uh, spring down, put the spring back in there, and it works great now. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and give you a demonstration here. thing is this rag when it's hooked up to a scuba tank at high pressure you can push this purge valve here on the front and it'll push any kind of water out or whatever that's in the way and uh, because it's low pressure I guess or because I shaved down the spring it will not do a purge but I can still breathe on it just fine And, uh, so 
the system has got air in it. So here's a, uh, a release valve so I can open up the top. Impressive. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Indeed you are. I killed this thing all the way up the other day and I did a time run on it and it'll actually give me two and a half bits of air off this five gallon corny pig if the uh, engine runs out of gas or something like that. But the corny keg comes with this this big long stem that sticks down in there, what you can do is you can take a hacksaw and then cut off this end because you still need this height right here in this washer to seal that thing fully. Uh, in fact, let me show you how this thing goes in there real quick. And you can see how it's shorter and it has the little rubber washer on there. This is what you need to do to both sides. With the uh, corny keg, I thought I'd just mention the, the extra parts that I have in my kit are I've got some of these uh, rubber seals for the hose fitting. I've got a few of those. It's good to get the seal kit, you know, because you never know when a, a seal will go out. Yeah, I've got some extra hose clamps that I have in my kit. That's it. If you guys have any questions or uh, you know have any comments about how I can make it better, let me know. See you later.